What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I suggest leaving a subscribe. Anyway, um, this whole month on my channel has been Harry Potter month, so I'm reviewing a Harry Potter movie. Uh, there'll be a couple, like, not movie, just kind of fun Harry Potter stuff to do. And every month, uh, this year, which I started in December, which I guess last decade, last month, whatever you want to call it, um, I kind of made a Star Wars month, just doing a bunch of Star Wars content. But this month, it's Harry Potter. Uh, I've reviewed Chamber of Secrets and Sorcerer's Stone so far. So let's take a look at a brand new director and a darker film in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Okay, so normally for the past two reviews I've done with this, I've talked about how I haven't read the books and I mean, I've glanced over the books a couple times and I sort of mentioned how not, not the case with Prisoner of Azkaban. I absolutely adore this book, as many others in the uh, kind of Potter <laughs> universe. I'm, I'm a pretty big uh, Potter fan, and I haven't really addressed that too much on my channel. But but here we are today talking about Harry Potter. All right, <laughs> getting off topic there. It goes so much darker and grittier than you'd expect, because they bring in a new director and a new Dumbledore door unfortunately because Richard Harris has passed away and the swapping of the Dumbledores no one really mentions it it's kind of a big deal for me it's, it's not a big deal for a lot of people but Richard Harris's and I don't know sorry I don't know what this guy's name is but Richard Harris's take and I'm just gonna refer to it as new Dumbledore the take is just such a different perspective on the character of Albus Dumbledore because you have one guy that's just you know, very soft, and then this guy that's very hardcore, um, teacher, kind of more in a Gandalf type of guy, like, that guy's kind of, I know this probably sounds weird, but Richard Harris's Dumbledore is kind of leading towards Yoda, and then this one's, uh, more towards a Gandalf kind of character, but the overall film has a lot of surprises, because the fat ladies. <laughs> The fat lady scene is literally, I read this book for the first time, I think it was third grade, I want to say, and just reading the word, uh, bitch was just, like, so funny for me in third grade, so I think maybe that's what gave me such happiness over this movie, and there's just such a thrill when you put on a Harry Potter movie, you're like, yeah, it's Harry Potter, it's cool. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying right now. But, wow, there really isn't that much to talk about. I mean, Peter Pettigrew, uh, uh, the map never lies. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I'm stalling right now. Uh, this is probably going to make it <laughs> its way onto YouTube. But now that I think of it, the film's kind of dull. Uh, I think I might actually like the book better. <laughs> <laughs> just, just talking about it, I mean, the time travel stuff is fantastic at the end, but they kind of just did a bunch of things, and then they go back and kind of go back into the movie, or the last half hour of the movie with the time travel stuff, but it's like, they didn't set that up in any other previous movies, the time turner. I guess Hermione, Hermione getting to classes on time, but... She gets to classes on time in the other movie. <laughs> like, I mean, he's a werewolf. Cool, I guess. This movie's just dull to me. And there's one other movie that we're not quite there yet. It's a little later on in the series that's similar to this. With, it has a fantastic ending. Some fantastic twist in there. But then, just the middle is so dull. And there's just so much filler in this one. The bus stuff, that's cool. This is probably an unpopular opinion, but overall, Prisoner of Azkaban's decent. I mean, Sirius Black's cool. Malfoy's in it a little bit, so it's always nice. But if I really start just watching all these movies to do these reviews, right, they get so repetitive where it's like, especially with the first movie where it's like, okay, we're showing up to Uncle and Auntie's Vernon's house. Or, wait. Dun <laughs> um, wait, is it Dun? Wait, why do I not know? Dursley. See, I, I caught it. Caught my mistake there. And 
then we're off to Hogwarts on the train. Then uh, we're going to play a little Quidditch. There's going to be some evil plan that Harry and friends have to stop. And that's just what all the movies feel to me, repetitiveness, especially with the first three. Once we get to Goblet of Fire, it's a fresh new story. But the first three just feel to me like they're trying things out. They're seeing what works, what doesn't work. But overall, I don't like <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Please don't hurt me, but I don't love Prisoner of Askman. That's my take. Let me know yours in the comments below. Goblet of Fire review coming up soon. Stay tuned for that. Peace out, you freaking Harry Potter.